I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. Invitations are one of the seven most common IELTS letter writing topics. In this lesson, I show you how to write an invitation step by step. Here's what the lesson includes. The question structure, the letter structure, formal or informal, how to tell the difference, the greeting and sign off, how to generate ideas and the lesson also includes two sample letters. First the structure of the question. All questions for IELTS letters have the same structure. They are made up of three parts. Part 1 is the topic, part 2 the person you must write to and part 3 what you should write about, listed as three bullet points. Here's a sample question with the three parts illustrated. You are organising a seminar for your company. Write a letter to the manager of another department inviting them to give a presentation at the seminar. In your letter, give details of the seminar, invite them to give a presentation and say why you are inviting them and say what the presentation should be about. The first sentence gives the topic of the question, which is that you are organising a seminar for your company. The second sentence tells you who you should write the letter to. In this case, the manager of another department. And the three bullet points tell you what you should write about. You should give details of the seminar, invite the manager to give a presentation and say why you're inviting them, and to say what the presentation should be about. Understanding the different parts of the question will help you to quickly analyse and plan your answer. To help you plan, use the letter structure I'm about to show you. For a full lesson on planning, study my lesson How to Plan IELTS Letters. I put a link to it in the notes below this video. The layout of your letter should follow the structure of the question and consist of four paragraphs with a greeting at the beginning and a sign-off at the end. Use this easy to remember six-part structure. Start with the greeting which will be Dear whoever you're writing to. In paragraph one state the purpose of the letter, that is your reason for writing it. In paragraph two write about the first bullet point. In paragraph three write about the second bullet point and in paragraph four write about the third bullet point. Then finally sign off your letter. All you need to do to create your plan is to add in the details from the question like this. The person we're writing to is the manager of another department so that's who we'll address in our greeting. Paragraph one is the reason or purpose for writing which is to tell the manager about the seminar. Paragraph 2 will be about the first bullet point, which is to give details of the seminar. Paragraph 3 will be about the second bullet point, which is to invite the manager to give a presentation and say why we're inviting them. And paragraph 4 will be about the third bullet point, where we'll say what the presentation should be about. Then finally, we'll sign off the letter. IELTS letters must be written in an appropriate tone and style. There are two options. Formal to someone you don't know or don't know well, or informal to a friend. It's essential that you're able to identify what type of letter you're required to write. Follow this rule. If the question includes the word friend, use informal language. But if the question does not include the word friend, use formal language. Although it's possible that you could be friendly with this manager, assume you are not and keep this type of letter formal. There are two ways you can begin a formal letter. Use dear sir or madam if you do not know the name of the person you're writing to. But use dear and their surname if you do know their name. For example, dear Mr Smith. For an informal letter to a friend, you would use their first name, for example, Dear Sanjay. Do 
the greeting you use will determine how you sign off your letter. For a formal letter, there are two main options for signing off. The correct one will depend on who you're addressing. Use yours sincerely if you started the letter with dear and a surname, for example, dear Mr. Smith. But use yours faithfully if you started the letter with dear sir or madam. You could also use kind regards. This is formal but friendly and it's appropriate for many situations. It's particularly useful if you find it difficult to remember how to spell sincerely and faithfully. Always sign off a formal letter with your full name. For example, yours faithfully, Jackie Spear. You would know the name of a manager from another department in your workplace, so just make up a surname for them. For a formal letter to a friend, use one of these phrases followed by your first name. All the best. See you soon. Keep in touch. For example, see you soon, Jackie. For our letter, we'll use this greeting and sign off. Dear Mr Evans, Yours sincerely, Jackie Spear. We're now ready to think up some ideas to write about. We have the guidelines of the three bullet points to help us, so this won't be difficult. With only 150 words to write, you won't need many ideas. Just make sure that you write about each bullet point and develop each idea fully. They don't have to be the best ideas you can possibly think of. Go with your first thoughts and don't waste time trying to think up better ideas. Just make sure that they're directly related to the bullet points. Note your ideas beside each bullet point on the exam paper, like this. For give details of the seminar I've noted down, safety at work. For invite them to give a presentation and say why you're inviting them, I've written warehouse manager, most highly trained person in company. And for say what the presentation should be about, I've noted down manual handling. So those are my ideas. And that's our planning complete. Once you've had some practice doing this, you'll be able to do it in just a few minutes. Taking time to plan makes IELTS letter writing far quicker and easier than if you don't do this step. You'll also write a better letter and get higher marks. Now we're ready to start writing our letter. Here's our plan again, with all our notes added in. Pause the video if you want to spend a few minutes studying it. We've already decided on the greeting, so we'll start by writing paragraph 1. In the first paragraph, you must state the reason for writing the letter, that is, its purpose, which is to tell them about the seminar. Many students make the mistake of missing this purpose sentence out, but it's very important. Including it will gain you marks. It only requires one sentence, for example, I am writing to tell you about a training event I am organising for the morning of Tuesday the 7th of February. And here's a top vocabulary tip. Do not use contractions in formal letters. They are informal language, so do not say I'm writing to tell you. In the second paragraph you write about bullet point one, which is to give details of the seminar. My idea for this is that it's about safety at work. Remember to keep the language formal in this question. Aim for around 50 words for paragraphs 2, 3 and 4. You could write something like this for this paragraph. The seminar is on the issue of safety at work. Several people in the company have been injured recently while doing their job and the management believes that this is because they are either not aware of safety procedures or do not follow them. Consequently, they felt that more training is needed. The third paragraph should cover the second bullet point, which is to invite the manager to give a presentation and to say why you're inviting them. My idea for this is that as warehouse manager, they are the most highly trained person in the company in safety. You could write something like this. 
As warehouse manager, you hold many certificates in workplace safety and I would be grateful if you would be prepared to share some of this knowledge and make a presentation during the seminar. I suggest that it should last for around 45 minutes. Paragraph 4 addresses the third bullet point which is to say what the presentation should be about. My idea for this is that it's about manual handling. You could write something like this. The subject I would like you to talk about is manual handling. Back injuries are the most common safety issue so need a particular focus. A practical session where people can practice good lifting techniques would be ideal. If you are able to do this please let me know what resources you would need so that I can provide them for you. This letter needs one final sentence to round it off before we add the sign off. For example, I look forward to receiving your reply. Now we just need to add that sign off we decided on earlier and our letter is finished. Here's the finished invitation. Pause the video and read through it. Note how all the elements come together and the ideas flow from one to the next. This is what you're aiming for in your letter. To get some practice writing an invitation, write a letter for this question. You are organising a family party. Write a letter to your friend inviting him or her to attend the party. In your letter, explain why you are organising the party, say why you want your friend to come to the party and describe what you're planning to do. This letter is to a friend, so must be written in an informal tone and style. Use the planning structure I've just shown you to plan before you start writing. And here's a sample letter for this question. Can you identify the language and grammar structures I've used to make it informal? Note the use of contractions, which weren't in the formal letter. You'll find lessons on other common IELTS letter topics on the website and my YouTube channel. I've put a link to the IELTS writing menu page where you'll find all the lessons in the notes below this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another lesson soon. Goodbye for now.